We killing them. Mm -mm. Go best friends. We killing them. Mm -mm. No, no friends. Beauty's gone anything. I had to stop that before I got copyrighted. Anywho, hi, hi, hi. How are you? I'm back. Here's a second video. I know. I know. Who am I these days? I don't know. But hi, if you are new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You're the real MVP as always. I forgot my intro the last time, but I didn't forget this time. Hello to the guys, the ghouls, the gays, the bays, and the thems. My name is Shalar. And this is our safe place. By the way, the candle that I'm burning is a forever mood candle. It is matcha business. Okay, I love this candle, first of all. <laughs> and it smells great, but I love the name. Um, you saw the title of this video. I'm showing you my go-to ultimate fall look. This one on my face. I am going to teeter probably between a voiceover and actually talking, or just talking in silence. Not really sure yet, but you're gonna get the full deets on my face. If you are new here, everything that is on my face is also linked below. I now have timestamps to help you out. Um, I tell you everything that I use, nothing's a secret. Okay, I'm very transparent on this channel. Listen, sis don't got time for lies, okay? Not to D. But without further ado, let's hop into this video and I will see you at the end. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So yeah, you saw my intro. It is 9.15 in the morning. Look at me trying to be productive because I got a lot to film today. So let's hop right into it. We're going to start with Prima. By the way, this look has no eyeshadow in it. Um, everything I use will be linked below and timestamp. Okay? I, I've elevated, okay? A timestamp now. The only reason I'm starting with primer is because I want it to set into my skin. So yes. All right, time for a good old fashioned conceal carve. As you can see, it's not that bad. Pencil be doing what it's supposed to do. It comes to work and does what she's supposed to do. By the way, the concealer that I'm using is from Juvia's Place. It's in the shade nine. That's my skin tone concealer. Please, I still haven't gotten rid of my tan fully yet, so don't come for me. I'm aware, okay? I am aware. Sorry, my mom called. That's why I was quiet for the brow gel. But now I'm just gonna take the, ooh, I need to shake this up a little bit more. The Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Primer in the shade three. This is the brown shade. You gotta shake it up really good because it does separate, but it dries out really well. Ooh, it's cold in my house. That's probably why it separated so much. All right, so I take that little brush, put that all over my lid. And then I set it in place with my bronzer. I have two, but it's the same shade pretty much. So the one that I'm using on my eye is just the one that I'm finishing up from Fenty in Coco Naughty. And then the one that I'm gonna use on my face, same shade like I said, but it's the Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer from Revolution Glow in medium. So it's this one that you're gonna see. So I'm gonna just speed through that quietly for y'all. Okay, so for foundation, I mixed my foundations. I mixed the Soft Matte Complete Foundation with, that's from NARS, with my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation. Yes, it looks really light. I assure you, I will make it work. But um, I mixed these two because the Soft Matte Complete actually dries on pretty matte, kind of like the Fenty one. Um, and the Pat McGrath one is your skin but better. So I really like the way they look together. I get the wear time of the soft matte, but I get the more skin-like finish from the skin fetish one. 
Trust me, mix your foundations, okay? It has changed my life. I told y'all I still got my little tan going out here, okay? In these streets. So trust the process. See, I told you, trust the process. I don't look as ghostly though. See? Um, if you're new here, when I do my foundation base, I usually put setting powder underneath my foundation, even if I mix it, but I'm not going anywhere. And even if I'm doing this look, that means I'm not going anywhere crazy. Like I'm not going out, out. I'm going out somewhere during the daytime where my natural oils will eventually break this up and make it look even more skin-like. So I'm okay with that. So for concealer, I'm doing my Juvia's Place ones again, but I'm doing all three. So for my newbies here, what's up? I layer concealers. So I layer my skin tone with my brightening. If I'm going out, out, and I need this to stand up through, I just dropped a whole glob of concealer somewhere. How, I don't know, but that was really scary because I thought it fell on me. And I'm wearing black, so that would suck. But um, if I am going somewhere, oh, I found it. If I'm going somewhere like out to like a party or a club or a dinner where I know that I am going to, um, you know, I have to make it sweat proof. And I know I'm gonna be doing some things. I gotta make it drink proof. I gotta make it walking proof and all that stuff. I layer a more dewy concealer with a more mattifying concealer so like i'll layer like these three concealers with my three from fenty again gives me the same longevity for the fenty ones but gives me the skin like appearance more skin like more glow um of the Juvia's Place ones. So there's a method to the science, okay? There's a method to the madness, I assure you. Um, this is kind of how I contour. Not kind of, this is how I contour. Um, I'll show you how I do my nose. That one, that technique hasn't really changed. That technique is actually very sloppy, but I'm gonna let this sit for a second and then I'm gonna come back and blend it out. Okay, so this has been sitting for a while. I use a foundation brush. This is the NYX Professional Foundation but I don't, this is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation Brush. It's the number 37 brush. I use it to blend out my concealer. I think it looks bomb. And honestly, I'm a fan of not using brushes for what they're actually supposed to be used for. But I mean, a foundation brush makes sense on why this looks good because it's literally meant to buff out, you know, your base. <laughs> So it helps blend things very nicely. Do, 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 do. I don't want to blend it out completely yet because I don't want to get my cons my contour color on this brush. I have a separate brush for that. Yes, I'm one of those people. I don't mix brushes for certain things just because I don't like the color transfer. Don't judge me. All right, so I've already mapped out my nose contour. So I always do here, the sides up here and just here because I like to give myself kind of like the illusion of a little button nose. I have like a really long like one. The tip of my nose is kind of long. So I just like to, you know, and this is only new because I used to not want to contour my nose. I used to think that, you know, I'm a black person. What do I need to contour my nose for? That's a that's appeasing to Eurocentric beauty standards. Now I just do it because I think it's cute. Also because like I've now incorporated other beauty techniques into my routine. So do you see how messy this is? It's just it's kind of just muddy, which is fine because that's how I want it. Because then, let's round it out. Easy, 
take a little bit of my lightest concealer wipe off the excess because I don't need that much dot here and a dot here yep that's it and then I go back in with that foundation brush if I can find it I just put it in here where the heck did it go it fell here we go and I take the more pointed side and I just dab it out up the bridge down the bridge just to blend it in and then dab 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 until this blends out and then if I feel like it's too much down here because I usually do go back in and contour around it and that's my nose Now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This one from Eco Tools, and I bronze. Trying to get back to my regular skin, well my, not regular, my winter tone. So I'm using a lighter bronzer. This is the one in medium, like I was saying, from Revolution Glow. This is the, the Splendor Matte Bronzer. And I just literally go over all the places that I contoured. You know, keep it, keep it cute. Keep it cute. By the way, these brothers run kind of deep, so like the light one would work for me too. I've tried it because I've used it on like my sister and she's much lighter than me, but it works on me too when I have my winter shade. So if you want to use it, it's these bronzers are pretty good for like clientele, so you don't have to use too many of them. You don't have to purchase too many of them. Yeah, I set my contour. Okay. I'm finishing up setting spray, so this is the post-workout active cool-down mist from e.l.f. I use this. I know that seemed like a lot, but it's just to melt all of the powder. Like I said, I do use this. This is almost done. This is done. I'm just trying to finish it now at this point. To get the last of it out. I'm a fan it and come back. Okay, now I'm going in with blush. Usually I go for a more peachier blush, but because it's fall, I try to go into more wine kind of colored blushes. So the one that I'm using is from the Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright collection. It's still available, you should get it. I have the palettes too, it's dope, I have both of them. Um, this is the Dust Till Dawn one. So these shades are really dark because they're meant for deeper skin tones. But honestly, I can use this bronzer when I'm tan and the blush. I genuinely just like for fall. So I keep it out for the most part all year round. I just don't use it as much because I have so many different products that I can go through. But um, yeah, I just create a nice little C shape. Y'all know I like me some good 70s and 60s style blush. So nice fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques brush, by the way. It's a powder brush. Yeah, it's just their powder brush that I happen to like for blush because it, it distributes blush pretty well, if that makes sense. So yeah, boom, 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 bam, boom. I know y'all can see I still look very dewy from that setting spray. Yup, that's, that's what I was going for. I also use the highlight in this sometimes, but I don't feel like using highlighter today. That's depending on my day and my mood. This next part though is optional. So now, if you want, you can stop here. I'm doing mascara. Um, and I'm also doing lashes. Again, I have different lashes for different occasions. The lash, the lash situation is just like, if it's daytime, I might go without it. Especially if I'm using like this mascara. This is the Urban Decay Lash Freak, which I think is an amazing mascara, by the way. Like, it really be getting them lashes. Like, look at that. Look at that. I don't wanna hear nothing about it. Looks like I got liner on and I don't have any liner on. It is such, can you see that? Look at that. Easy, wider production. I wanted to focus. With mascara, without mascara. Like, come on, I don't even, it's not focusing. Hold on, let me see if I can focus it. With mascara, without mascara. Okay then, okay then. 
Like I said, this part is optional, just like mascara is optional. I'm putting on lashes, just cause uh, I like lashes. But if you don't, you solely could have stopped that mascara. Works either way. Okay, and now for the final thing. I know this video took long, but if I wasn't talking, this wouldn't have taken me that long. I'm gonna do a deep brown with a deep brown gloss. Um, sometimes I'll just do a lip liner with a gloss. I've been getting into that. Um, but it's fall, you know, get into your deep vampy lips now. All right, so now my lip has dried. Tell me that's not a sexy lip though. Look how sexy it is. Wow. Yes. You can leave it here or we can go on top of her matching gloss. Easy wider productions. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you over my sexy mouth. I can't, what? First of all, this gloss is actually that pigmented. If you wore it by itself, it would look just like this, just so you know. But yeah, here is it. This is the look, honeys. This is the look. This is it. This is this is what I do for my go-to anytime I'm going anywhere during the daytime or it's something simple like with my mom or something like that. This is, I might add some faux freckles if I'm feeling a little spunky today. But this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you a little help, a little inspiration or whatever for your personal fall looks. And you can always just spice this up with different eyes and stuff like that. And until next time, stay warm, like emotionally warm, stay open mentally, and stay true to yourself. And as always, stay beautifully you. <laughs>